Hey folks, that fix it guy here, and I got a box of something that you should never install. Okay? As far as these things are concerned, never put them in. And I know a lot of you are probably going to say I would never do that anyway, but there are people out there that have this stuff installed in their house and they might be thinking, "Hey, I want to replace like for like." Don't do that. All right? We're going to take a look inside this box. And I'm going to show you just what I spent all my money on. So come along. Let's get to fixing. All right. So I bought four sets of these angle stop supply line combos for kitchen faucets. All right. Comes with covers. We maybe can use these covers, but everything else in here, we ain't ever using. Except for video purposes. This will never get installed in somebody's home. I have replaced so many of these, and I'm sure there's other plumbers out there. If there's plumbers, leave me some comments. Let me know how you've seen these things fail, all right? Because I've had these completely break off right here. I've had these pull out of the wall. I've had this whole thing pop off. Yeah, I've been. these are flood makers, all right? Jacked up stuff. This is a company called Flowtype. They're actually still in business. They still make these. You can still purchase these, right? And I just wouldn't, all right? This, this stuff, it is not grand, all right? So I'm gonna be shooting some more video here at some point soon, and we'll be talking more about this stuff. And I'm gonna, I'll cut one of these out. We'll look at the inside. I mean, you can see right there, it's almost like a first gen shark bite in a way, right? Because it's got these little shark bite type clips in there and that O-ring and that's actually what holds it on. But I'm going to tell you, man, I've just seen too many bad things. You see how far up that O-ring is and they're actually, I don't know how much more space is up there. It doesn't look like much, maybe about a half inch if that above that o-ring so i don't know it's wild man this, this whole little setup is kind of wild this is the kind of ring that's in there right it's kind of a one-way thing you put it on there and then you kind of can't pull it back the other way so we got a couple plastic excursions for these you can put them on over it or give it a slice and pop them on afterwards they say that they want the pipe pushed on an inch and a quarter and this is exactly an inch and a quarter. So they want you to push it the whole way up until you actually see pipe sticking out, which, all right, sure. Once again, you're not installing it anyway, right? Dude, just too many times I've seen this mess up. So it says that you can install this for copper, CPVC, and PEX. One of the big things to me, and I've watched a lot of videos on this, is people trying to get these off, right? And like how they want you to take it off. They say that you can just take this and spin it counterclockwise and while you're pulling and pull this off. Well, you can do that, but I'm, I'll show you why you shouldn't do that. I have a piece of PEX right here. You get it pushed on, says you go with an inch and a quarter, and now it's not going to come off unless you take this and twist it counterclockwise. And it says you can twist counterclockwise while pulling out. Oh, man. I almost broke my light. Well, see, the one thing this does is it trashes your pipe. All right? So if you did this to copper, thinking you're going to put an O-ring back on it, it ain't happening. All right, that pipe was smooth just a second ago. This being the on and off, like this is on right now. You have to pull this out to turn it off. I've seen this break when people are trying to push pull. <laughs> so crazy. And then the, all it is really is an O-ring in there. Like we'll cut one of these apart here real soon. But you can kind of see that O-ring peeking its head out back there. That's the only thing that's sealing that. Right? And I can tell you, as this plastic deteriorates or something, or you go to try to pull this, sometimes you can't pull this, and you end up 
pulling the whole thing off. If it's not completely on, if they didn't put it in the full inch and a quarter, it might not even be sealed at all. So you go to yank this, yank the whole thing off, and you flood in your bathroom. I'm personally not a fan at all of any type of one piece angle stop supply line combo. Me personally, I'm gonna go with something like this. A nice braided flex stainless steel supply line. This is for a faucet and it's a two piece, right? And this is actually just gonna connect onto the angle stop. I mean, this is an old double stop, but this is a much better setup, right? So if this went bad, you could replace that. The hose goes bad, you could replace that. You don't have to worry about this. The other nice thing, this is all metal construction. I mean, there is a hose behind this, but this is a no burst braided flex. They make these to where they're pretty awesome. You're not gonna get a blowout, you're just gonna get a leak. All right, so these are in my never buy category, okay? No matter how much you think you're gonna save, those couple dollars are not worth the headache, the hassle, or the flood that you're gonna end up getting with something like this, all right? I really hope you folks are enjoying the channel. I really hope that we're helping. If you could please subscribe, click that like button. We'd love to have you keep coming back. Thank you very much, and we'll see you again real soon.